And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to load in Raycast to Miku Miku Dance. Now I'm doing this because, first of all, people seem to say that it's really complicated to do it when it's not. And it kind of makes people who are new at MMD not want to even try. Second, all that I've found is tutorials that are typing out what to do instead of saying it so you have to look at the video and go back to MMD which can get really confusing or you watch the whole video and then you forget everything right away because you don't have the chance to test it out. So I figured that one with talking could just be a step by step and letting you know what to do while you do it without having to go back and forth or forgetting anything. So, let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to open Miku Miku Dance. I've already done that. S so now, you're going to want to go to RayMMD and Skybox. So, you can do this many ways. I'm going to show you the most simplest one. But, for this folder, this right here will make it so that you can load in your own skybox with it. But like I said, I'm going to do the simplest way, so I'm going to go to skybox time of day and load in timeofday.pmx. Then you want to go back to camera light accessory settings, go to the accessory manipulation, and load in Ray X. And wait for it to load because it can get a little laggy. Now that you have Ray X loaded, you can load in your stage. So load in your stage. I'm just going to load in this one, which I've already had in a video, but the video was kind of garbage because she kept going through the walls and I need to redo that video. But since this is just a demonstration, I'm just going to use it. I'm going to turn these off. And now you want to go to MME Effect. Effect Mapping. Make sure that you're on the tablet that says Main. Double click on Stage.pmx. Go back to Ray MMD Main. And load in Main Effects File. Press Apply and OK. And now you have that loaded in. Wait, did I load it into the wrong thing? No. Oh. Now if you go to camera light accessory, it's going to all be dark. So, no, you didn't mess up. That's just going to happen. Go to Effect Mapping. Go to Environment Light Map. Double click on Time of Day. And then go to Skybox. Time of Day. Time of Lighting. And then go to Fog Map. Time of Day. Time of Fog with God Ray with Cloudcaster. I'm going to get rid of this back wall here. You don't need to get rid of anything if you don't want to. So to do that I'm going to material map, subtract, extract, and I'm going to click through and find what I want to get rid of. Then I'm going to tick the same thing off in all of these. Okay, so now if you want to add materials to stuff to make it look better, you just have to find the corresponding folder. This is my own personal folder, 
that will make it look more better. I'll show you later on once I've changed the lighting settings what I mean by that. And also add it to here so that you guys can see a bunch of cooler effects. Apply, okay. <coughs> now load in your model. Let's get model. Just pick attack and grab on you too. Okay, now you have your model loaded in and it looks very weird, right? You're going to want to go back to effect mapping, main, and find your model. Then go back to the main folder and do main effects. And that will load in the better lighting for your model so that she doesn't look scary. Now I'm going to add a stuff for you, a material for you. The majority of these come with RayMMD. Only this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Do not. Oh wait. Only... So once you have gotten your materials up, I'm doing the hair. So you just want to go to hair. What is it called? Material hair with Anastropy 2 FX. And as you can see now, there's a texture on the hair and it looks really cool. So, apply, okay. Now you're going to want to go to model manipulation and load and load in the ray controller. That way you have more ways to manipulate the lighting than you would with just the normal camera lighting accessory. Speaking of, I'm going to use that to get better lighting. For everything. As you can see on the floor, it looks more like wood, and that was what I was talking about, by how the materials can make it look more real. This will work with doing motions and everything as you probably saw from my intro video but I will show again here see I forgot to do something register and now as you can see it works very good it looks nice and yeah but now if you go to ray controller you can adjust lots of other stuff to make it look more cool and aesthetic or edgy or however you want the mood to look like so yeah that's that's basically Step by step, how to use Ray MMD, the easy way to do it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I hope this video helped you. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to know when I post, hit the bell icon. Bye bye. Have a great day.